Hi everyone. So quite often I'm filming conferences or events where there are screens like projectors, plasma screens, LCD screens, and there can be a flicker on the screen. And here I am, I'll just show you one. This is, you can see I've zoomed in a bit and you can see there's a flicker there on the screen. Now you don't want that. And it's because it's connected to a device like a computer that is outputting at a different frame rate to what I've got on the camera. Now we're in the UK or I'm in the UK and we use PAL, which is 50 Hertz, which is, I shoot at say 25 frames per second. Maybe you're using 50, either way, it's a division of 25 frames per second. And the screen is probably something like 60 frames per second or 59.94 Hertz. So that's different, 50 Hertz, 59.94 Hertz, it's a different frequency. Now you might not notice this in countries like America, Canada, where you work on those frequencies and your camera is set to NTSC. So I could solve this problem simply by going into my menu here and choosing all the way over here under my settings, system frequency, and I could change it to 59.94, and then go for something like a 60th of a second down here in my uh, shutter speed. And sometimes just putting the shutter speed on that will help, but you wanna get rid of that. Okay, so that might help, but if you've got a Canon cinema camera and some of their camcorders and other brands of camcorders, there might be a feature in there called clear scan as well. And I've got a video for that, so go and check that out. I'll put the link below and it's probably popped up on the screen here as well. And what you can do is rather than having the shutter or a shutter angle, you can actually choose the frequency and you can dial that in. And as you're dialing it in, you'll see the little bands or the flicker actually disappear until you get to that right point. So that will work out really well for you. Now, if you, as I said, go and check out that video if you want to see about that. But there is another feature in here, as I said, in the R1, R3, and R5 Mark II, which is a high speed flicker removal. So let me just go into the menu here and show you that because I use that to get rid of the flicker on that screen. So I'm just gonna go back to the camera menu here. And let me just go to, here you'll see it's got HF anti-flicker shooting. That's, so we're gonna choose that. I'm gonna switch it on enable and you get two options. Recommend TV settings. So what you do is you point the camera at what is flickering. So if it's the screen or if it's a light or maybe you point it at a wall if you can see the flicker on there and then you tell it to do that. So let me just go to that. And you can see it's now found 2095.6 hertz flicker, change shutter speed to 50th of a second. If I say yes, it will change it. The other day it came up with 60.1. Um, you might have to do this a couple of times. Now it's also got yes, move to TV settings. We'll do that in a second. So I choose yes. Now, the thing is, if I actually want to set this myself because it's not picking it up and I can still see the flicker, what I want to do is go into menu, and again, go down to manual setting, and what you'll see is I can change it. So if I use my top dial here, you'll see it's changing it, and you can see, and as you dial it in, you'll see it change. If I use the dial at the back, you'll see it will go in bigger chunks. Can you see that? It's jumping up. If I'd use the top dial, it's going in much smaller increments, and you'll see that that can really make a difference. So. If you've got this problem and it's on the screen and you can see it, and believe me, this can be a real problem as well. It can just be so distracting. The other day I was filming something and the screen was just flickering. I was on the gimbal and I just had to quickly try and change it to get rid of it. So there are a few things that you can try. One, if you're in the UK or a country using PAL and you're on the 50th of a second, then what you can do is you can change it to NTSC and a 60th of a second and see if that works. Just try changing it to a 60th of a second to start with and see if that makes a difference. And also, if that's not working and you've got a camera like this where you can actually detect the flicker, then do that as well. I use the Canon 
R5C and it has an option in there that I can dial it in using that clear scanner. I've got a video for that. Other cameras in the Canon range of the cinema cameras, as I said, do that. I know I've done it on Sony camcorders as well. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.